Thank you for your attendance today. We're here to talk about tag security and the work that we do as part of the community to support the efforts of security in the Cloud Native Computing Foundation. This is the most devastatingly fearful title we could possibly come up with. <laughs> Chewing glass and staring into the abyss. Security is sometimes a thankless task, but we're a lovely bunch of people and we hope to enthuse you to join us on our mission. I am relentlessly hawking the book that I wrote last year, doing a book signing at the booth later. Ooh. Uh, if hacking Kubernetes is of interest to you, and I'm here with my co-presenters and tech leads from Tag Security to walk you through what we do and give you a chance to ask us how we feel, <laughs> how we feel about the work that we do. Okay, so first of all, an introduction. Everything is run through GitHub. We are developer focused. We have a developer mindset. We pay a lot of attention to attempting to divorce the traditional perception of security, whereby releases are blocked, last minute understanding of technical concepts and problems. Instead, we look to embed at the beginning of the life cycle of a project as it enters the CNCF, and as I say, focus on this de developer driven mindset. So everything is done in public, everything is in the open, individual issues are raised in a developer workflow style on GitHub, we work in a pull request uh, mentality as well. You can go and see exactly what we're doing by virtue of browsing. We hold meetings every other week on the US centric time zone and alternately the cadence is the same for uh, an EMEA friendly time zone. So depending on which side of the pond you're on or indeed uh, which time zone is more convenient for uh, people slightly further out, we hope that with, there is a time zone that makes contribution possible we just run meetings on Zoom, everything is very open, um, and everything is then transcribed into a working document where you can catch up or see what the history of the group has been. We are a voluntarily led organization. Everything is open and participant driven. And as you can see, this means that security enthusiasts are the DNA of the group, but we have everybody from professionals through to academics and researchers it is a very open and collaborative space. And again, we look to be as inviting and balanced as, as we can possibly be. What do we do then? The role of tag security is to assist projects as they look to graduate up through the CNCF's different levels. What that means is for an individual project that's submitted to the CNCF and looks to take advantage of that reciprocal uh, limelight that admission to the CNCF gives, the marketing budgets, the level of technical quality and community participation and governance that is required, we fulfill the security aspect of that spectrum. So a project comes to Tag Security and presents and says, this is what we do end to end and gives the participants an opportunity to interrogate the maintainers. Why did you make this decision? How does this fit with another project? Where is your threat model for these things? We then go back to the project. There is also a self-assessment role that a project can take. And then we feed back into the technical oversight committee and give guidance on how to harden that project, ultimately trying to raise that bar of security in the most uh, consensus and collaborative driven way that we know how. So first of all, strengthening the ecosystem, identifying gaps in the individual projects. And we say this again from a position of compassion Security is difficult, and no one individual has a real, uh, full, transcendent view of all the potential problems. So by organizations, uh, by, sorry, by um, projects submitting to, to the organization, they have the opportunity to gain various different perspectives from a security advocation or from a, a low-level design, everything in between. And again, we hope that this open collaboration style builds up the quality of the project in the, the most friendly and compassionate way possible. We also have a mandate for education. Uh, part of this is we've just spent two days running uh, Cloud Native Security Con. It was a zero day event that has spawned into a, uh, a minus one day event. I'm always hesitant to say zero day event in the security context. <laughs> but we're very proud to say that that will also 
uh, birth its own independent conference that we'll talk about later. Uh, we will continue to intertwine tag security with the main KubeCon event going forward. So there is always a home for this level of communication. Um, but yes, we, we'll talk a little bit more about that as we progress. Fostering maturity, again, is this goal of ensuring that projects are able to ascend through the CNCF's graduation process with uh, the level of technical rigor that we would expect. Engaging more communities, again, reaching out and ensuring that we perform a social community and uh, security function. And finally, nurturing growth and participation. And this really is one of the key aspects of the group. Security is difficult. There is often no one true way. Everything is a compromise. And decisions are made that may affect security that have a rationalization that objectively at first glance may not look fundamentally correct. Making sure that we do this again in the open in a way that everybody has a voice is of foundational importance to the group. And again, looks to try and dispel some of this um, older, more calcified view of the security industry where participation is latter stage, deployments are blocked, and there are various holds on uh, the things that actually deliver business value, which is fundamentally shipping features. With that, we move on slightly. We have a charter that is public. This is how we engage with the Technical Oversight Committee. Ultimately, the point of the group is to try and raise that bar of security in, again, a compassionate and collaborative manner. Helping developers to meet security requirements. Most developers do not enjoy shipping uh, security patches because ultimately they're bugs, not features in many cases. So helping to make those design decisions easier to make earlier in the life cycle of a project is again foundational to, to what we really care about. Um, and finally, audit and reasoning about system properties. A lot of tooling does not publish a threat model or an attack tree or a security property matrix. Um, one of the things that the group, uh, one of the excellent pieces of work that the group has undertaken was a threat model for Spiffy Spire. This publishes detailed, or a detailed view on the compromise resistance of the system. So Spiffy Spire is a workload identity and uh, dynamic attestation service. By understanding the model of compromise and how those security properties degrade with certain levels of adversarial access, it means people building on top of that system can make, again, make those design decisions about how they integrate and implement those tools far earlier. And it's that level of democratization of security information that we are especially interested in. Um, one of the real personal benefits for me of working in the group is the opportunity to collaborate with people who excel in their own specializations and their own parts of the field. Really, it's an opportunity to learn and grow in public and as much participation or observation as the individual feels is appropriate is entirely welcome. We're just looking to raise the bar for everybody at the same time. And part of that is outcome driven learning experiences. We have run a capture the flag event at Cloud Native Security Con historically for the last uh, four cube cons as well. These will continue going forward. We're running them at the security con that we'll talk about as well. Again, it's just an opportunity to spread as much information and open the floor as widely as possible by demonstrating the adversarial and attacker mindset to apply the minimum viable controls. So we're not looking to constrict maintainers. We're not looking to um, apply a, an overly prescriptive set of security requirements, just the minimum controls to satisfy requirements, ensure agility of the system, and make sure that we have a quantifiable baseline. And, and we do that by demonstrating what can go wrong. Very proud to work with these individuals. Um, as I say, everything here is collaborative, community, and voluntarily based. And we have representation from uh, across organizations, continents. Um, very lucky to be working with such a delightful group of people. And I will hand over to Marina for more. Thank you. So I'll talk a bit now about um, some of the work we do, some of the ongoing and, um, and recently completed work that we've done with the TAG. So first of all, I'm going to announce some of the, the things that the group recently completed or recently finished, including a version two of the Cloud Native Security White Paper. This is a white paper that provides guidance to 
anyone in the cloud cloud native community about security and in all different form all different um, types. It has a lot of detail, and the 2.0 really makes sure to modernize and include new technologies, new advice. There's also a supply chain security white paper that kind of focuses specifically on supply chain security problems. Because as right as we were writing this. Um, the original security white paper, we realized that this was, you know, its own topic that needed a separate discussion, and so that white paper is also available now. In addition, there's a cloud native control security controls catalog, which takes um, some of the same recommendations from the security white paper, but really breaks th breaks them down into like individual pieces that you have to get done, and with advice about different tools and other pieces um, to achieve them, and also mappings to um, various regulations and requirements. Um, like the SSDF and other um, groups, so you can see how all this different advice that you're getting from all these different places really fits together in a practical way. And finally, we recently released the, an audio version of the V1 of the Cloud Native Security White Paper for folks who um, prefer to consume content in audio format. Um, there's a couple of versions of that available. Also, we have some um, in progress and ongoing work um, highlighted here. We have um, some lightweight, a lightweight threat modeling project. Um, and all of these projects here that I'll talk about have links to GitHub. So as Andy mentioned, all of our work goes through GitHub. So the easiest way to get involved with anything that I'm talking about is just to go to the issues linked on this slide, which will be shared, and um, or talk, talk to the folks um, tagged in those issues about how to get involved. So yeah, lightweight threat modeling is um, a project that is designed to kind of help improve the security assessment project for the, the CNCF. Um, and more versions of that cloud native security white paper are also ongoing. The, you know, the world of security continues to evolve, and so this white paper continues to evolve as well to reflect all the changes that are happening. So we're working on both the written 3.0 version of this white paper. Um, this working group is just, just forming, so probably sometime in the next year, see more about that. And then we're also working on the audio version of the V2 white paper, because of course the white paper was updated, so now we update the audio version. Um, next, we have the cloud native security controls mapping. So this relates to the, that cloud native security controls catalog. This is mapping different tools in the ecosystem to those controls so that you, you can tell immediately these are all, you know, if you look at the whole CNCF landscape, there's a lot of tools available, a lot of security tools even available on that landscape. So these mappings can help you figure out which of these tools are actually designed to solve each of the different problems that we talk about um, in security. Also, the security assessments, one of the, the key pieces of, of the tag is helping all CNCF projects go through security assessments, which are required as part of the, the process of becoming a CNCF incubating project. And so th this is a list of some of the ongoing ones currently. Next, we have the Zero Trust White Paper, another one of these white paper efforts that really focuses on an emerging area in security to get some guidance specific to Zero Trust. And finally, there's a catalog of supply chain compromises, which is available on GitHub. This is just an ongoing list that keeps track of software supply chain compromises um, related to cloud native technologies. And so we try and keep, keep up with different types of attacks. Um, not every attack that happens, but all the different types of attacks that happen so that we can tell, you know, what are the emerging th threats in this space and how can we address those things. So yeah, next I will hand it off to Raga to talk a bit about creating the cloud native security community. Thank you, Marina. So uh, how does all this actually impact? How, how are we actually making an impact, a meaningful impact with the community? So security cannot exist within itself. Security cannot be in a bubble. We need to be able to educate people of all the opportunities that is available, all the support that is available for consumption, as well as inform you about all the products and things that are available for your consumption as well. And alongside, we need to partner with other organizations who are in the similar space, who are complementing our space, and be able to give a holistic view of what are all the things that could go wrong and what, and what are all the things that you could actually make use of to make a project better. So we have a continuous effort uh, uh, to make awareness possible in our community. And this can be within the CNCF community with, uh, for example, like the Kubernetes security, we are in constant touch with the team and we also collaborate with them for a uh, better understanding of the community and hardening of the, uh, <clears throat> hardening of the projects itself. 
and this is also uh, a level up. We also collaborate with the Linux Foundation and its uh, projects and opportunities. So OpenSSF is one of one of such collaboration, and we also go beyond the Linux Foundation. For example, the CSA and things like that. So we are in constant collaboration with other communities who are working in a similar space to provide you the holistic view of all the things that you need to be aware of to make a holistic decision for your project. And uh, we also provide a platform for the projects to come talk to us. We are here for you and we are here to listen and provide feedback for your projects and really uncover all the decisions that you've made about. So Andy mentioned that uh, the Spiffy and Spyray, we help to with the threat modeling and really ask the tough questions on why why were certain decisions made, what are the implications of such decisions, and how how they are actually doing well and where they could potentially improve. So these are some of the platforms that we provide, and this is also another opportunity for the community to learn about all the different things that is available for them to go back and make use of those projects. So it works either ways and it's beneficial either ways. So these are some of the efforts that we are uh, taking for raising awareness in the community itself. And uh, in focus about the security reviews itself, so our, uh, our tax security will be your pulse for any of the security requirements in your project. We act as a friendly face and we are here to help for anything that you need with respect to security and we are here to help you either educate or provide a platform for reaching out to multiple folks. So that is a, re a main part of our security pulse program. And another is the security assessment where any project that is looking to come incubate with the CNCF, we work with you for the self-assessment and we provide you, we help you kind of create a security MD file with which kind of provides a checklist of all the basic things and basic hardening stuff that needs to be done so you qualify to enter the CNCF community. And once you do that and you're looking to graduate, we also have a joint review program so you can really uh, get deep into it and mature in the overall security posture of the project. So there are a lot of uh, such reviews that is ongoing and like the team mentioned, the GitHub is our single point of trust and we have all the links that is given here and if you're interested in any of the projects, come talk to us and get involved. With that, where can you help us today? At the moment, just take a couple of minutes and scan this QR code and if you can help us with the supply chain security uh, questions that you have or challenges that you're facing or if you have any feedbacks for the team, this would be a really good place to make a meaningful difference and a meaningful impact. So take a couple of seconds, scan this QR and please fill out this survey. This will be massively helpful for us. And if you want to join us, we really are a very good team and we are very <laughs> approaching and uh, helping you and we help with mentorship for any of the folks who are willing to join us. Um, if you are really interested, check out our roadmap. Like I keep saying, GitHub is our single source of trust and you can find all the previous work and the future work that we are uh, working towards in GitHub, especially I've pasted one of the links for our roadmap. So check it out and whatever issues you're interested in, just Put an interested uh, comment there and we will reach out to you. We'll provide you with the needed support to get started. And especially if you're a beginner in the space, look for something like good first case or help needed, which kind of really makes uh, it easier for all the newcomers to join the community. And <clears throat> we, uh, we are very active on Slack and uh, we have a couple of communities in the uh, CNCF working group. So join us and we actively talk on all the new issues, latest and greatest uh, things and the new stuff that we are working on is always posted there. And some of those working groups and uh, the activities that we are either taking on or publishing is also posted on Twitter. So if you are a Twitter person, there is a handle as well that you can follow. And <clears throat> we, we collaborate on a weekly basis uh, in APAC sorry, EMEA as well as uh, US time zone as Andy mentioned. So you can join either of the uh, time zones or both of them, you're most welcome. So please join us and we collaborate on weekly basis. So 
which ever is suitable for you and if for any reasons you are like me and miss out on some meetings no worries there is all our meetings are always recorded and it's available as live stream as well as for later usage so make sure to check us out and now the most interesting part so now we are going from co-located event to, to a solo event so please check us out we were selling out each time and we thought why not make this a best use and spin up a new conference out of it so it's happening on uh, february 1st and 2nd 2023 in seattle washington so the cfps are open now come join us spread your knowledge and help the community with that said thank you so much for our raccoon for taking the time to attend this talk and here is a qr for sharing the feedback with us so if you like this talk or if you find it like eh, please feel free to share the feedback and that will be useful for us thank you Thank you for a great talk. Uh, if you have any questions, please wave at me. Um, are you, uh, in terms of kind of security best practices and stuff, what, are you synchronizing with what the OpenSSF uh, projects are starting to uh, move forward with? I'm thinking of things like security scorecards and the, the sort of stuff that's happening in Alpha and Omega. Is that working now? Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, so um, we, the, we, there's like, you know, there's a lot of different working groups working on different aspects of security. We definitely are working with the OpenSSF, and I think we're trying to coordinate to make sure that, you know, no duplication of effort. Um, our focus is really on um, the cloud native security space. I think the, um, the OpenSSF is more generally open source security. And of course, there's overlap, um, but, you know, we, we, we definitely all talk to each other. There's various members of the tag who are also members of. Um, open SSF and and vice versa. So definitely ongoing communication. Yeah, I, I mean, in addition to what Maureen said, there's also the question of where some of these projects sit. So for example, the CI scorecard, maybe it's kind of the CD foundation angle, but they're more orchestrators. Uh, maybe it could be in the cloud native space, but actually there's it's a general cloud tooling. So that sits with the open SSF. Uh, it's the same for the uh, Frisco project, the factory for repeatable software composition artifacts. I'm going to go with <laughs> nodding heads. Thank you. Um, that was uh, that was birthed and had its genesis in tag security, but then actually moved across into the other foundation. So we're very close. If the um, supply chain security white paper uh, bears testament to this in any way, the list of recommendations include, for example, things like running the scorecard, um, cosine and sig store, of course, yeah. which also sit in, in that project uh, under that foundation rather. So yes, we collaborate as closely as practical. Um, we both have, uh, for example, a supply chain security working group that intersects uh, quite heavily. And our TOC sponsor is Emily Fox, who, again, bridges the two and, and has a, a keen eye on what's happening uh, in both communities. Any more questions? OK, perfect. <laughs> uh, the book signing, I think, is Thank you very much. Uh, at, at the control plane booth somewhere over there. Perfect. So for the people in watching the recording or virtually, the question was, when is the book signing for Andrew's book? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you can actually download the first half of the PDF for free at controlplane.io. My work here is done. <laughs> Any more questions? Is the PDF signed? <laughs> uh, you can, yes, you can sign it yourself, but it's not digitally signed. And yes, in, in my pockets. Okay, last call for questions. Okay, in that case, thank you very much. Thank you. Hope you enjoy the rest of the session. <laughs>